Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be focusing on the Audi R8 Evo around Imola. And um, yeah, it's a car I've sort of been dabbling with, deciding whether to go with it for the new seasons or whether to go with a Ferrari or the AMG. That's the, that's the three cars I've got in mind at the moment. I'm um, not too sure what we're going to do yet, but um, definitely between those three cars. Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought I'll drop this out for Imola. Hope you guys do enjoy the setup, man. I'll give a brief little breakdown as well and what sort of lines I kind of look for on my line around the track. I've sort of made sure the car is a little bit higher off the ground so I can take more risks with the curb because it is one of those cars that, you know, it does feel slightly better when it is lower to the ground, but you really do have to be mindful of the curbs. And I, I feel like on this track, you do need the curbs to, you know, produce better times and it's a lot easier to be consistent without having to avoid curbs every single lap. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the setup is Cryptic TMG. Let's get stuck into the video. Coming across the start finish line, um, going into turn one, I sort of use the end of that barrier to start braking. Make sure I take a little bit of curb on the right hand side. I do eat quite a lot of this curb on the left, and I maybe did bounce me a little bit too far right. So, uh, you know, the angle wasn't perfect. I end up putting on a little bit more steering lock that I might need, which obviously ends up scrubbing off quite a lot of speed, but I think we get through there okay. Again, through this corner, we just tag the curb on the right hand side eat quite a lot of the curb on the left to make it a lot easier to turn right and again this is one of the reasons why i have got my car so high off of the ground um because i want to be able to attack the curbs now this corner is it seems pretty easy but you can lose a lot of time so i try and take sort of a, a later apex because i just found that it gains a lot more lap time than just turning in early and hugging the inside line. So you try, want to try and go for a late apex there. Um, quite a difficult corner. I tend to actually get my braking done pretty early and uh, just sort of roll the car in and then get on the throttle as quick as possible. You want to grab a little bit of the curb on the inside line. And again, this probably one of the hardest corners on the circuit and I'm down into fourth gear. I sort of roll it through the first part, then get on the brakes. You don't want to brake like super hard, otherwise you can cause the car to become light on the rear. But that was pretty cool. That was pretty good. And again, another difficult corner, a corner that, you know, the more risk you take, if you get it right, you are going to reward yourself with a lot of lap time. And the, the focus is here is I jump quite a lot of the first curb, as you can see, jump quite a lot of the second curb, and it's whether the back of your car can be settled 
when you get on the throttle we actually run a little bit wide but it doesn't invalidate our lap so we're, we're we gucci we gucci now downhill a corner that is very easy to outbreak yourself in and um what you want to do get on the brakes probably around about 100 meters make sure you hit the curb on the left hand side don't run too wide obviously you can put two wheels in the gravel which will totally slow your lap down and um try and get the best run you can out of the last corner again you don't want to run too wide and that's pretty much um what a 40.5 looks like man but um hope you guys do enjoy the, the tutorial uh next time out i think i'll be doing the lambo and see what we can do with the lambo but anyway it's crypto tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace